All right, YouTube, we're going to round five of the Modern Challenge. Currently three and one. Looks like we're 34 right now in the standings, which isn't bad. We did lose round two. The three and ones go from eight all the way down to 40. This guy dropped it two and one. That's odd. So it looks like if these are tiebreakers, let's say, then it looks like I'm on the shit end of the stick. But you missed Glimpse. You're a madman, dude. Okay. So what do we got here? We're on the draw. We have a Battle Rage, a Discard Spell. So we have a pretty aggressive star. I'm going to keep this hand. If I draw a Fetch Land or a Street Wraith, it's a turn two Death Shadow. Blooming Marsh. So we're, gonna, we're grinding out here. Oh, we're playing against Elves. Okay. I'm using my mana no matter what this turn. I need to go fast. So I'm going to fetch, cycle my Street Wraith, and then Thoughtseize. Okay. If we draw a black land next turn, we're in good shape. This is just an easy Elvish Visionary. If they Shaman in the pack, maybe that just makes my Death Shadow larger. And they're just going to cast this. Okay, deal me two. Deal. Okay, black land. Black land, baby. Yes. So I think we're just going to get two five fives. And then we're going to shock ourselves and threaten to kill my opponent next turn. My opponents, on, on their third, like, on our third turn, they're already threatened that they're going to have to block my Death Shadow for the rest of the game. I'm not going to telegraph, because if I get a Watery Grave, that basically telegraphs. I have another land in my hand. There's no need to do that. Okay, so there's Land War Waste. Best draws for me would be a Thought Seize right now, I think. So now we're just getting in here. My opponent has to block, or they have to, like, kill me with a collected company. Are they just not blocking? Oh, they are going to block. They, want, they wanted to move to blocks. So this is still lethal. Because this is 14. This is just 20 on the dot. So now they have to company into something to gain. Like, they need to company into an Elvish Archdruid, basically. Which they get a lot of looks at. Double Shaman of the Pack, one Shaman of the Pack, so that deals four damage to me, which just kills them even more. To the moon, baby. Turn three on the draw. Turn three format, baby. All right. So I want everything that kills anything. Um, Snapcaster Mage is too slow. Um, we don't need... Gurmag Angler is kind of small. I can see boarding out all of my Gurmag Anglers, I'm not going to lie. Like, Angler is so, such small ball. And you got five more cards. I think I'm going to keep my lootings. I don't think I'm going to have time to recoup the card advantage. And I'm going to cut one stub. Because, like, their quarter calling is going to suck after sideboard because I like, get so much disruption. Their quarter callings are awful, um, so the stubs aren't as good. 
So we're going to go like this. So the stubs aren't as important. If they show me lead the stampede here, then I will board more stubs in. Gas. We got our heater. We got our we got our nut sideboard card on one. Okay. We just gotta get we gotta get this lava man down. The lava man's just gonna even though we don't interact on one, which is never good, the lava man's just gonna catch us up so much. So now it's like my opponent has got to interact with this thing. Otherwise, it's just going to pick them apart. Heritage Druid. Heritage Druid could let them explode with mana here. So like Dwayne and Elite. Yeah. Into an Arch Druid. You got an Arch Druid, dude? Okay, Visionaries could be worse. Okay, so I think I've got to discard spell them. I just have to start trading. And I'm going to need a brick wall here pretty soon. So let's take this Shaman. And I'm just going to shoot this right now. So we're going to take five here. There's the Blooming Marsh. So, go to shoot this, take three. So I'm going to Serum Visions because if I have a Death Shadow on top, I'm going to try to Street Wraith into it. Okay, none of these cards are that good. Alternatively, I could just make my next land drop. I think I'm in need, I think I'm in line for a Death Shadow, and that's pretty much it at this point. So I am going to cycle this because I'm going to need a second card in the graveyard. So now, because of how stacked my hand is, I think I'm going to look to just trade this, hit this, and then they only have two two things on the board. There's the unclaimed territory. Fill. Lead the stampede. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Phil, what's going on, bud? Okay, so they did find a druid. Land War Elves. Longish Mystic, okay. So shoot here, block here, shoot here. Take one is basically what we're looking at. And then I have to go like Thought Seize this. Because I can't let the Druid, the Arch Druid, land, live, I mean. Yeah, so I think we're going to go block this. Hit this Dwayne and Elite. I probably should have kept a land, honestly, so that Engineer Explosive was a, was a more live draw. Oh, we're going to die with a million spells in our hand. Maybe I should have fetched differently, like gotten another red source. So I'm just going to bolt the druid, the arch druid. Philly, stop it. Don't mess with that. You know not to do that. If I get a lot of answer down on the play, then like it's just a completely different game, but we're just like a touch too slow. So I think I'm just dead on the board here. I don't have enough. I don't have an out here. And Liliana would have been good. Yeah, so I'm just dead. I'm going to thought seize my opponent just to see what they have. Okay. 
Yeah, all right. Yeah, they just got like, and that was the con. Like, I didn't interact on turn one. I played, I played my Grim Lava Mancer, and on the play that works out on the draw I did not. Um, I kind of want to put more stubborn denials in my deck, but all these cards get better when I'm on the play. Like, I could just take these Inquisitions out because I'm on the play, and then board in like one more stub. Maybe put keep one Inquisition in. Yeah, so let's try this. All right, this hand's okay. It's not great, though. So I'm going to bobble my opponent next turn because I want to see what they're doing. And I'm I'm like 100% I'm playing this Lava Man. Blood Crypt. So they put a card on the bottom. Okay, Metal Sentinel. That's a great draw. That's going to relieve a lot of pressure. Okay, so they're drawing a Land of War Elves. We don't care about this Relic. I think I'm just going to take this company and then just try to like slog through everything. I'm definitely going to shoot this down because I think that it's better for me to like hit this so that there's only X ones left for my Liliana. Okay, so there's Land of War Wastes. We're just gonna we're just gonna well, so I could I think I'm gonna take this damage actually. I'm gonna take this so that I can play my Death Shadow if I need to. So this untaps. There's one Heritage Druid. I need to make sure to kill a Heritage Druid with the next thing on the stack. can't do anything else. So they have Relic, Land War Elves. Tilt. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to take a turn off. So actually, I think I'm going to push this attack with my Grim Lava Mancer. I could just push this and clear kill this. And then they're down to Land War Elves in the top of their deck. That's probably better. And just get like just completely eviscerate them. And like they just don't have anything going on. Use my use my lava mancer while I can, because this this relic's gonna keep it keep it down. Okay, so there's land oil and relic land. All right, that's fine. So I'm just gonna offer this trade before I do anything. The fact that they don't want to trade means I'm just going to bolt it. I think just if we kill everything on site, we're in good shape. There are potential there are like better things to bolt, but like they could have a company in their hand as their last card. Yep, it's a good draw. So land off the top, baby, one time. God, nice. All right, we're just going to ship in and then hold up. Hold up uh, Stubborn Denial. I'm actually going to play the next Lava Mancer because it actually kind of brawls. I'm not doing anything else with my mana.
Yep, Dwayne's Elite comes in. All right, now we need a Liliana. Land, come on. Yes. And we're going to hit the Land of War Elves. Was this for a dismember? Okay. And we're not attacking. Because, like, I'll let my Liliana take two, but I'll just chump this thing. I think I'm actually going to start attacking with this Death Shadow. No, this was such a mistake because now they're going to... Damn it. Oh, now I'm going to do it. They should just throw both of these in front of here. Okay, they didn't. All right. Yeah, that was almost a punt. I mean, it was a punt. There's no other way around it. This is really not just going to eat through all this. The Visionaries are keeping them in it. I just need a way to grow these shadows. I could also just roll my Liliana down, but that seems too good, especially when it's it's like going to win me the game also. Yes. Awesome. So I can actually go get another red source. Yeah, I agree. Go up on this, shoot both their blockers, crack them for 10. Have stubborn denial up. Yeah, like, Pod's too good. Just like Wrath the Board. God, when Grim Lava Mancer is good, it is unreal. But we have a stacked sideboard for this matchup because it's, it's like splash damage from humans. My opponent could EE me, but we have a Stubborn Denial for that. Even if we didn't have a Stubborn Denial and the Engineer exposes me, I think that I would just still hold my thing. Yeah. I mean, your hand's stacked. I get it. Okay. Sweet. All right. Let's go do a cube draft. 